The Maryland National Guard helps its soldiers, airmen, and their families find jobs. Helping candidates write resumes, navigate through websites, sending candidate job descriptions, those sorts of things, of course, is a big function of my job. But where the rubber meets the road is getting them hired. Many companies are looking to hire veterans, but how can you get an edge in a competitive market? The key is self-initiative. Finding a job is a full-time job in itself. You don't have the opportunity to get a face-to-face -face with every employer on every job that you're interested in. So your resume has to be the tool that can at least get you to the table. Having someone to network on your behalf can increase your chance of success. By going to employers and they say, okay, here's some jobs, we're ready to hire, I may be able to match those candidates up. Military training can help veterans qualify for civilian employment. Let's say you're from the Army and your MOS was a 91 Bravo, and normally you would need ASC certification, but they're waiving that. If you had that formal training, you would actually qualify to be in that position. Businesses realize the value of what military personnel offer. We believe that the partnership with the military is a critical component of our hiring strategy. and We like to embrace the concepts around integrity, value, accomplishing missions. Maurice Blue is a retired sergeant major from the Maryland National Guard. As a soldier, uh, that we're big, I'm big on mission. And Metro job is commute uh, probably about 800,000 or so people a day in a safe environment. I mean, what better mission to buy into but that? A bit of advice for those seeking employment. I have some candidates who call me on a regular basis because a quote that I, I usually leave with all of them is, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Reporting for the Maryland National Guard, this is Army Sergeant Aimi Fujikawa.